What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. We are talking to the judge. We have... Uh, it's really... I, should I really explain what happened last time? I guess I can try. Let's see. Mayor Tenma was in the Forbidden Chamber, but Jinxie saw Mayor Tenma in the chair. And we're saying that LaBelle must have disguised himself as the mayor, but they're saying it's impossible. And now the judge is all, I'm going to declare a verdict again. All willy-nilly. What's even left for me to do? Apollo, remember what Mr. Wright always says? When you're stuck in a tight spot, turn the case upside down. Turn the case upside down? Hmm. He does say that, doesn't he? But I don't quite see how it applies here. Still, never hurts to give it a try, I guess. Let's see. Of course it means literally, right? We're literally gonna turn something upside down like a crime scene photo. Rather than Jigsie didn't remove the disguise, maybe she couldn't remove it? And rather than she didn't tell anyone about the disguise, maybe it was she couldn't talk about it? What? A wrestler's mask is more precious than his own life. Okay. He'd never unmask himself in front of others. But there are matches where wrestlers battle for the right to remove each other's masks. To have your mask torn off is the worst humiliation a wrestler could suffer. That's why their masks are more important to them than life itself. Okay. And what about the fact that it was the Amazing Ninetales who opened the door? A mask that can't be removed in front of others. Can these facts turn things around? Yes, they can, only because Mayor Tenma claims he saw the Amazing Ninetales while seeing the Alderman dead behind him. Which would suggest LaBelle was dressed as... This, the Amazing Ninetales, I guess. Man, I feel it. We're so close to the DLC case. We can, I can taste it. Ah! We got it all backwards. Apollo? I think, I think we might have made a huge mistake. Stop listening on my conversation. I see no need to further indulge them in their silly little farce. The defense has no proof. They never did and they never will. Hmm. Then it seems I must announce my verdict. Objection! I do have proof. Do you now? All right, but this better be good, Mr. Justice. We can solve the remaining riddles by turning all of our assumptions upside down. Why Jinxie Tenma mistook Mr. LaBelle for her father. Ba -da 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 -da. Why she couldn't remove the costume or tell anyone about it in the first place. These riddles are all inextricably ugh, linked to Mayor Tenma's secret identity. A shocking secret identity that will turn the entire premise of the case upside down. A turnabout, if you would. <laughs> this piece of evidence clearly reveals Mayor Tenma's secret identity. It's got to be the mask. I'm, I'm screwed if it isn't. Oh! What absolute claptrap. Poppycock. Balderdash. What are you, from the 1930s? We thought the alderman was the amazing nine tails and the mayor was Tenma Taro. <gasps> what? That's why we believe the mayor killed the alderman in his lust for nine tails veil. And it was the basis for the prosecution's entire case against our client. Oh, we always assumed... He oh. Are you telling me Ten Mayor Tenma is nine tails? guy? What a twist. However, that's judging a book by its cover. We got the whole thing backwards. <laughs> Mayor Tenma wasn't Tenmataro at all. He was the Amazing Ninetales. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Grr, grr. You'd best explain yourself, Justice Tono. And from where'd you derive such a far-fetched conclusion? Ooh, this is intense. Ooh, I'm digging this music. Oh. Jinxie, no doubt, knew the true identity of the Amazing Ninetales. But she couldn't tell anyone no matter what. That's why she didn't say it was the Amazing Ninetales she saw passed out. Even though... <laughs> it looks so adorable. Ugh. 
<laughs> it was really Florent LaBelle in disguise. Silence. The accused and that deceitful dandy are utterly dissimilar in physical build and voice. The little scamp would have seen the difference. Objection. Remember Mr. LaBelle's very own brand of cosmetics. Why couldn't he fake a different build too? Yes, apparently his cosmetics are as good as a polyjuice potion, and he can just go, Woo! I have wrinkles and an, uh, an older face. <laughs> and anyone speaking through a mask would naturally sound different. Silence. Yeah, I guess if he sounds like Bane. Why did she not simply pull the mask off? Objection. <laughs> a masked wrestler's disguise is more prescient than life itself. As a huge fan of the Amazing Nine Tails, she would never dare unmask him. Gah! Ooh Ooh -ah -ah. This case of mistaken identity also explains the riddle of the locked room. Then, by all means, Mr. Justice, answer it for us already. First, Mr. LaBelle entered the room where the mayor and aldermen were talking. Oh, hello! I suspect he brought with him coffee laced with some sort of sedative. Once the alderman was out cold... That's when Mr. LaBelle killed him. Next, he took the mayor, who he had also drugged into the Forbidden Chamber. Whee! Then he returned to the Fox Chamber, slipped into some of the mayor's spare clothes... And completely disguised by donning the amazing Nine Tails mask. With his entire charade in place, Mr. LaBelle then let out a scream. Oh! The scream that led Jinxie Tenma to the scene. Oh, hello, Dad. Ah, so then. The person who said I killed Alderman QB was. A fox. Yep. That was Florent LaBelle in disguise. The mayor never, never actually confessed. Silence. <laughs> this is no more than guesswork and speculation. Now stop your jabbering and... Objection. No, you twisted samurai. That's not even an insult. This time, you stop your jabbering and let me finish making my case. Uh, uh, I'm so hurt by your words. Twisted samurai. I'm not twisted. Once Miss Tama left the scene... That's... Ring, ring, ring. Mr. LaBelle, still wearing the mayor's clothes and mask, opened the Forbidden Chamber. So we could drag the mayor back out into the Fox Chamber. Oh, so the amazing Nine Tails the mayor saw was... Right, it was LaBelle opening the Forbidden Chamber. The second time Mr. LaBelle opened the door to the Forbidden Chamber, he happened to catch the thieving Mr. Filch by surprise. Startled, Mr. Filch in his Tenmataro disguise ran as fast as he could away from the room. As he did, he left behind him a trail of feathers and tracks. And gave Miss Tenma the scare of her life in the hallway. With no one left to witness the events that had occurred, Mr. LaBelle then proceeded to drag the sleeping mayor back into the fox chamber. I see. Well, that all certainly does make sense. Does it really? That made sense to you? Okay. Then after dragging the mayor back into the fox chamber, Mr. LaBelle threw the mask out the window and fled the room. Silence. For this absurd theory to work, it requires that the defendant be the Amazing Ninetales. However, he was the one pushing for the municipal merger. That such an individual could possibly be the Amazing Ninetales is preposterous. Objection! The mayor was blackmailed into pursuing the merger. Miss Tenma's life would have been in danger if he had only openly voiced his opposition. That's why he created a secret identity as the Amazing Ninetales. This is madness! No one could possibly hatch such an insane plot. No one except a killer as insane as his plot, and I'd say Florent LaBelle more than qualifies. Foolish mortal, it is at your own peril that you forget who I am. Mayor Tenma, it's okay now. Jinxie will be safe just as soon as Mr. LaBelle is arrested. You are the Amazing Ninetales, aren't you? I... Mm. Oh, it's Jinxie. It's Jinxie. It's Athena. It's Jinxie and Athena. It's Juniper. 
It's Phoenix! LaBelle? Wow, I guessed so many characters. Oh, wait. Oh, I did say LaBelle. Wait, did I say LaBelle? I don't know. Oh, you have quite the active imagination. Mayor Tenma is not the Amazing Nine Tails. Objection! What do you mean? Well, has the mayor admitted to it yet? But that's just. And even if he did admit such nonsense, I would reveal the truth behind Tenma Taro right here and now. What? <gasps> Why you? You would dare reveal the secret? Oh, <laughs> my good friend the Alderman told me all about it. But it wouldn't be good to expose the truth. What with the superstitions now, would it? The truth behind the Ten Mataro? What's he talking about? Willis? So go ahead, say it! Say I am the Amazing Ninetales! I dare you! I don't know when it turned into a sort of southern accent, but... Urgh, ga, ga, ga. Wait! Will somebody please explain what's going on here? Mayor Tenma will do anything to keep the truth behind Tenma Taro a secret. A dark, terrible truth that has been kept secret by the village superstitions. And if the mayor admits to being the Amazing Ninetales, you'll expose the truth? Right, I won't have him walking free because of some nonsense you made up. Hmm. So what now, Justice Dono? Without the mayor's admission, your theory is as useless as you are in battle. I'll show you who's useless! Apollo, don't you dare give up now. I know, I know. Your Honor, I believe Mr. LaBelle's statements warrant a thorough cross-examination. After all, the true identity of the Amazing Ninetales is the cornerstone of this case. Hmm, you do have a point there. Please answer this court, Mr. LaBelle. Is the defendant the Amazing Ninetales or not? Interesting. The Amazing Ninetales' true identity. The Amazing Ninetales' true identity is not Mayor Tenma. The mayor would never admit to such utter nonsense. But if he did admit to such a nonsense, I will expose the truth behind Tenma Toro right here now. And that would be written upon Ninetales Vale, just as the superstitions say. That was a lot of emphasis. Talk about out of the pot and into the fire. It's pan! The metaphor goes pan! The idiom! Actually, well, I guess an idiom would be a metaphor, because it's a colloquial metaphor. At this rate, the mayor will be found guilty for sure! Honestly speaking, if Mayor Damien Tenma is not the Amazing Ninetales, I'm afraid I don't see how the defense has much of a case here. Oh, 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 oh. And let's just leave it at that, shall we? We all know Alderman QB was the Amazing Nine Tails anyway. I mean, that's how Nine Tails Vale made so a uh, comeback. The Alderman was so popular. There's gotta be a hole in that testimony somewhere. But I don't even know where to start. Since we don't have any proof that the mayor is the Amazing Nine Tails. Then we'll just have to get him to admit it himself. But if he admits it, LaBelle's going to expose the secret behind Ten Mataro. Hmm. Oh, we are so close. I know it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Goody. My favorite cross-examining LaBelle. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. The amazing Nine Tails' true identity is not Mayor Tenma. This whole case only makes sense if the mayor is the Amazing Ninetales. I know you used his mask to create this illusion of a locked room murder. Silence. Hm. Nothing more than idle speculation. You've no evidence now, have you? Objection. Mr. LaBelle knows what this statue originally looked like. That means he had to be in the Fox Chamber while it was still locked tight. Oh, sorry, but I heard about the statue from Alderman Kubi. 
If you don't believe me, just ask him. Oh, but what's that? The alderman's dead. Oh! <laughs> Looks like the joke's on you, my sweaty little friend. Apollo, you mind if I wring his neck? Wait in line, because I'm going first. Temper, temper, anyway. Ba, 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 ba. The, m the mayor would never admit to such utter nonsense, okay? Why not? The only nonsense here in this court is you and your assertions. Tisk tisk, such anger is terrible for the skin, you know. Beauty is like a flower that blooms forth from a serene heart. Excuse me? <laughs> I wouldn't expect a wilted peasant like you to understand. Perhaps this fragrance will help the blossom with you bloom. Ack. You liked that, didn't you? <laughs> Enough jabbering about blossoms and whatnot. Get on with your testimony before I slice you into a bouquet of cut flowers. Oh dear, please excuse me. As I was saying, the assertion of our wilted attorney here is utter nonsense! But if he did admit to such nonsense, I don't even want to press this. Do I? I don't want to. Do I want to? Ah, it's such a boring statement. Hold it. You'd be arrested, wouldn't you? Yes, it's true. I would be sacrificed upon the altar of justice despite my innocence. But what a terrible loss that would be for the future of mankind's cosmetic needs. It is a tragedy that must be averted. Defend me if you understand this. Silence. The only terrible loss is the time wasted by your ceaseless yammering. Here, here. I agree. If you would avert the tragedy awaiting you and that vexing visage of yours, then? Yes, yes, I know. Get on with my testimony. Anyway, suffice to say... Should the mayor admit to the defense's nonsense, I will make good on my threat and... Ah, uh, I will expose the truth behind Tenmataro right here and now. Uh. Hold it. And just how did you learn of this so-called truth behind Tenmataro? Alderman Kubi told me all about it. The secret of the Forbidden Chamber and the truth behind Tenmataro. Why would he share secrets like that with you, Mr. LaBelle? Because of the alderman's wife. I was looking after her while she was hospitalized. He appreciated it so much he shared the secrets with me. Wait, did he threaten the alderman in addition to the mayor? Don't tell me that's how he learned how to open the forbidden chamber. Needle- oh, oh, oh. Needless to say, I'm not above the revealing of the truth behind Tenmataro. And that would bring ruin upon Ninetales Vale, just as the press, 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 press. Do not gaze upon Tenmataro. Do not tell others if you see him. Isn't that what the village superstitions say? Exactly. Telling others what Tenmataro looks like would reveal the truth. That's why the superstitions were written down in the first place. And ruin coming to the village if you free him? Is that a warning not to expose the truth? Oh, bingo was his name, oh, and that truth is, Ten Mataro is a great greed-inspired fortune. That's what the whole battle of a Nine Tails Vale is all about. Ten Mataro is a great fortune. Come to think of it. <laughs> eh, only that's the greatest get-rich-quick chance in the universe. Grandpappy told me all about it. Said there's an amazing treasure in there. That's what he's after? Oh. Could Tenmataro actually be... What? That's some... That's some... Twist! That's some Shyamalanian twist! 
Oh, it's been 20 minutes, damn it! That was getting so good! Well, I guess we'll have to wait for the next video, sorry. But stay tuned for the next video, and thanks for watching! Bye! Oh, these guys suck. Oh! Hey, oh, that's it, team. You get him. Get in there. Yeah, that's it. Go. Everyone go. What are you using? A pool cue? Dude, Boone. Boone. What is wrong with you? Give me, give me the freaking pool cue.